out of Hollywood. Get back to the trenches. They said they need me. Go fish. Okay, yo, so this your boy Wood Sly coming to you my first Wood Sly TV video. I need you to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, like, share. I need you to, you know, hit my comments. Let me know what I did cover. Let me know what I didn't cover. Let me know what you need me to cover more of. In this channel, I'll be showing you many things. And like it will be ranging from tech, outdoors, to gym, showing you how to properly lift you know, wait, you know, I'll show you how to properly do exercise from yoga videos. I want to even eventually have people on here, you know, with me. I'll, uh, garden videos, uh, repair videos. Um, I'm going to show you everything. As you see right there, the power drill is just, you know, right there. The just mounted TV. Um, so today, and we're going to focus on one thing, though. I know you guys been waiting for it. The fire stick tutorial video. So this is not really a, a tutorial video to use the fire stick per se. This is a tutorial to use the Xfinity Stream app. Showing you how to download Xfinity Stream onto your fire stick, people. It's not an easy thing. But I'm here to show you. Okay, so you're not by yourself in this. And don't forget to pause this video. You know... Fast forward it, rewind it, rewind it, uh, whenever you need to. I'll, you can do it all the time. You can reshare this video. You can re-like it. You can, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so it's the first thing you need to do when getting started to download the Xfinity app. We need to go to settings. We need to go down to My Fire Stick TV. So once we hit my Fire Stick TV, we go down to developer options. Click developer option. We have to turn ADB debugging on. Okay, ADB debugging is basically it. This allows anyone on your network to install applications from untrusted sources. So you have to have that on. YouTube, this is not a hack. I'm not jailbreaking a Fire Stick. This is no hack. You know, just FYI, YouTube, if you decide to take this video down, I'm I'm not, you know, doing anything malicious to this fire stick. I'm using everything the fire stick came with. OK, so turn ADB debugging on. It allows untrusted sources. OK, so then you go down to apps from unknown sources. You turn that on. This is basically reiterating the same thing from ADB debugging. You know, this uh, this basically trusts apps that's not in the app store, you know. So once we turn those on, you click home. You know, we go down, use your favorite downloader. But how you get a downloader, you click the search, you know, the download apps. So we're going to go here. We're going to press, you know, click in downloader. Press down and then it should pop up. Give it a second. You know, press down. And then it pops up here. Downloader. It's going to be the orange one. It's the easiest one to get. It's right there in the front. You don't have to do anything hard. You know, you don't have to waste time with all these other ones you might not know how to use or anything like that. Downloader is the easiest one. Okay, so bam, once you download that, remember people pause this video. You're gonna have you might have like some options to where it asks you to allow if you don't allow these apps to use, you know, certain things, you won't be able to use Xfinity app, you know, basically. So once you download the downloader, you click downloader. You go when you download downloader for the first time, you won't you will be here. And from here is where I need you to type this into your URL. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash APPS dot KINTE dot net. And I'll leave this up here for a minute. I'm going to also put this down in the description below. So you don't have to. I know you see say, please consider supporting this app. 
You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do any of those. This app is 100% free, people. So remember, put HTTP colon forward slash forward slash APPS dot K-I-N-T-E dot net. And once you do that, you go down. You click it. That downloads this website to your downloader. And from here, you have to have mouse toggle to perform the necessary functions of your Xfinity app because there's going to be some things you're not going to be able to click with just the remote. If you have a Bluetooth mouse, perfect. You won't, you know, that's perfect if you can pair your Bluetooth mouse to your Fire Stick. But those of us like me that don't want to waste the money, don't want to use it when it's all right here, you click mouse toggle. It's downloaded. Do you want to install and update to existing applications? You go down to the bottom. You hit install. Okay, so after that installs, you also need your Xfinity. Okay, here you go. I have the non 4K version. So I click here. It's a non 4K version. You click there. Download that the same way you just did the mouse toggle. You're gonna also need a web browser. So you can download Chrome right here. Chrome, or you can use one that you, you know, you like. You don't have to download the ones I like to, to get to where I'm going. Like you, you just need the basics. You need this Xfinity app. You need this Xfinity right here. You have to download that. I'm sorry, it wasn't in the camera. You have to download Xfinity. You have to download mouse toggle or it won't work for you guys. Okay, so after you download those, we take it home. Okay, so hold the home button. Once this pops up, you go over to apps. You're on apps. You move, you can move all the things you want. See, my mouse toggle is all the way down here. You click that, you move. You can put it wherever you want, people. I want mine all the way in the front. I want it the first thing at the top. So when you go home, if you did it right, it'll be in the front. It's right here, your apps. It's right here in the front. Okay, so first thing you need to do for, to get your Xfinity Stream app working. Don't forget, people, pause this video. You know, do whatever you need to do. Don't let me pass you up. I'll slow down. I'm sorry if I'm talking fast. This is my first video. I'm a little nervous. I'm trying to cram as much information in as possible. Um, but again, so click here. And you see all this. You have to enable mouse service. Enable mouse service. Have to make sure it's clicked on. Auto start mouse service on device startup. You have to click it on. So as soon as you get here, it says this. It says status started. You know, okay, so... Once you once you see that it says status started when it first come when it, you first click on mouse toggle for fire TV This where it says started is blank. It says nothing. Okay, so you have to click that every time you turn on the fire stick so okay, so you can make sure you get your uh, Mouse toggle working the way you pull up your mouse toggle is you double click the play pause button But I'll show you that coming up so you after you you know after that says start it you're you can go back home. Okay, so you you downloaded your Xfinity app already. You already got that. You already got your mouse toggle video. You already got your mouse toggle. I'm sorry. Then you just go over to Xfinity. It's yours. You click it. It takes some time for it to load up. Everything to get situated. You're gonna have to put in your passwords, your username. And all of that. I know I was taking so long. There we go. So, you know, you have to put in your your username, your password, and all of that to get this started. You know, you, t you, let, it, you let it load up. Don't rush it. It'll, it'll come up when, you know, it's ready. Um, just sit there and wait. Okay, so we all loaded up. Okay, so... Without further ado, here it is.
And then I'm gonna go to the home screen. Okay, so this is how it looks after you you put your all your info in. You know, you put your username, your your email, your password. You know, so the thing, the thing is, the reason why you need your mouse toggle, because you can't click on these things without mouse toggle. You can't go up and down. You can't go, you can't do anything. So you double click the play pause button. You see the mouse pop up? It's right there. It's the mouse, the mouse. So you can click on, you know, New Amsterdam if you want to watch this or, you know, new popular movies, you know, anything that you want to click on. So, you know, then you, uh, you double click it to get it on, you double click it to get it off. So, bam, we can go here, we can click up here then you can click your TV to go channel. And then now, you know, you got your Xfinity stream app. You can double click the play pause button and get it off. I'm sorry. It's not acting right. But there we go. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's, that's, that's everything for today. You know, I'll be doing one of these videos every week, um, you know, to be covering something different. Um, Wood Slide TV out.